Welcome to The Journey. This time of lockdown has brought anxiety and uncertainty and suffering to many people. We talk about that often. But children have had to come to terms with a new way of being in this time of lockdown, a new way of life. There is no school and many worry about their education. For others, they've had to adjust to working at home, some online, but some have no access whatsoever. Children have been cut off from their friends. They can no longer do exercise or be part of sports teams. They've been told to be extra careful with hygiene. Some, whose parents are separated, have not been able to see the other parent for weeks and will not be able to see them for weeks to come. You see, many of us may be tempted to think that children are resilient, that they will adapt, that they will simply get on with life. And upon reflecting on this, I thought that this could be a big mistake because children pick up on our anxiety as adults. They pick up on our stress. They hear the news and they know what is going on. It's not business as usual. And so I think children too are struggling in lockdown. They may not express it as we adults do, but no doubt many children feel anxious and uncertain. They've had to deal with the changed reality of having to be at home, sometimes with grandmothers, other times with parents, but sometimes in families where there is strife and difficulty. Maybe they're in a family where someone is suffering from COVID-19. They have to deal with the illness and perhaps some children will have to deal with the death of a family member due to this virus. And so I want to offer just a few reflections on how we can best care for children at this time. First, it seems to me that we need to give them time and space to talk about how they feel. Let them ask questions. Be honest. Answer their questions as best you can, even if they ask the same question over and over and over. Be patient, because sometimes it takes children a longer time to process things. And so simply make space for them and explain things to them, reassure them and comfort them. We often expect children to be happy all the time. And we need to realize that it's also okay for children, like for us adults, to have bad days, to be emotional some days. We must be accepting of that. And so make time to talk about feelings, maybe reflect as a family or with an individual child who is struggling. Children will also notice all the added messages about safety, the lockdown, the washing of hands, the coughing into the elbow. Don't just give them orders. Explain to them why this needs to be done. We could ask if they have any other idea of how to protect themselves and those around them. And in so doing, we can maybe adopt some of their ideas. If they, if they feel part of the decision making, it helps them to take ownership and to be responsible at this time as well. We bring them with us. Help them by facilitating as best you can their continued schoolwork and education. Don't put their education on hold. Make use of any materials you can find. Some schools are providing material, others are getting it online. There are other good resources out there as well. Make use of them. Some children may find this new way of doing things very difficult and lonely. Other children may not have the opportunity at all to do any schoolwork at this time. Be aware of this. It's also okay not to get everything done at once. Gauge the interest or the stress levels of the child. Don't threaten them if they're not getting the work done. The situation is already stressful enough and adding to it is not good for anybody. Another thing it seems to me is that play is very important for children. They cannot see their friends and so this makes play difficult. 
This will be demanding for adults, but set some time aside each day to spend simply just playing with children. Do what they want to do. Let them enjoy something playful every single day. It could be crafts or baking. It could be other activities or even just simple games with stones or twigs or leaves or whatever else. Being outside and barefoot helps to ground children, helps them to relieve stress. And so even maybe a walk, if they can, is beneficial to them. I think it's also important to have a daily routine. Don't let things get too chaotic. Most children respond well when there's a rhythm of life, a rhythm of meals and study and playtime. But also we need to be discerning and lenient. These are different and difficult times. As tempting as what it is, don't use the TV or the iPad as a babysitter to pass time. Screen time needs to be limited, even in this time of lockdown. Put screen time on the daily rhythm so that they know they'll be able to spend some time with the screen. But make sure that that doesn't happen for hours and hours on end every day. And finally, friends, and probably most important, when we're anxious and stressed like so many of us are, it's very easy to forget that children need love and affection. And so at this time, we need to love the children around us as best as we can. Consciously and intentionally make sure that each day you assure them that they are loved. You show them love in ways that you can, in ways that you know best for the child. Children look for love in many different ways. Sometimes even a tantrum is a call for attention, a call for a hug or some one-on-one -on -one time with a parent or an adult because they feel lonely. Patience is probably the virtue that adults, that parents, that guardians need most at this time. But your loving patience will help the children around you in many ways to survive this lockdown. And maybe let's pray today for children everywhere who are really struggling at this time.